A Punjab policeman without a bulletproof vest, without a bulletproof patka, takes up his position against terrorists inside the police station. Another shocking image, SWAT or special weapons and tactics policemen wearing knee pads, but no bulletproof vests and no bulletproof patkas. Policemen with clearly no tactical training lob grenades, turn around and then run for their lives. This massively overweight policeman runs for cover, his rifle dangling in his hand. None of the policemen you see here are wearing any bulletproof jackets. Curious onlookers surround the police post. Seven years after 26-11, nothing seems to have changed for the policeman on the ground. What also remains is their courage and indomitable spirit. A spirit that cannot protect them from rounds fired from AK-47s, as this detective, SP Baljeet Singh, tragically found out. He was killed in the firefight with terrorists. Earlier in the day, special forces of the Indian Army and regular soldiers of the Army, some of the most skilled, hardened and well-equipped soldiers in the country, were kept away from engaging terrorists. The Punjab police made it clear they would lead the operations. And so, India's best trained troops were asked to cordon off the area, a role usually left for the police, a strange reversal. In the end, the terrorist attack ended with all the terrorists eliminated, an ending which was perhaps foregone. But key questions remain on how well trained and equipped our first responders actually are. With Tanima Viswas, Vishnu Shom for NDTV.